Let's go! Vibe with it! Let's go! She can sexy, she's thinking to text me But she just met me, let me get me Inside the story, inside the four We once upon a time I had the one, she was a diamond I man was from the islands She loved by accident, she loved So, today we are here talking with the beautiful I go by Bina Ray um, 18 years old. I just auditioned and think they liked me, so very excited. Alright, tell us what you auditioned for. What was the audition about? The audition was a date, a dating movie. It's called No. And they told me to audition for a dancer, so they contacted my agency and then we came here today and just auditioned. I think it was good. Okay, how did you think it go? It went well? Yeah, I was nervous. I was very nervous at first and but I, like, once the music started playing, I got into it and they were smiling. So I got like more excited about it and then they called me back and it was like, they told me, hope to see you on the big screen, so. How do you dance? What kind of dancing do you normally do? I do normally hip hop, that's my, my go-to. Hip hop? Yeah. Um, anything else? You do any African dancing? I do like African dance. I like all international type dances. I want to get more into that. But right now I just stick with the hip hop. So hopefully later in life I get to do some more different type of dances. So you just wanted to dance, you didn't want to do a speaking role? I did do a, um, I did a singing, I was going to do a rapping, but I wanted to do the speaking, but I wasn't really, I didn't know about the speaking when I first came, I guess she just told me about the, the dancing, so, and that's my easiest, my go-to, so I was going to do it, but they was just really excited, and then they called me back, and I was like, maybe when I come back, I can try another one, and let them see my other talents, but they told me they liked me, so. So you're 18, that means you, you still look like you could be 15 or 16, you must get that a lot. Yeah, I do. Um, did you recently get graduate from high school? I did, I just graduated in 2019. Oh wow, awesome, congratulations. Thank um, you. What's, it, what's, what's next for you? Next, I was planning on going to college, but I'm really interested in the arts right now. So hopefully if I get this movie going, I can do some more stuff and then maybe like in two or three years, I can go back to college and do my studies so I can start doing public relations and getting into that and trying to change some stuff in this world that we got here. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I think, I think, I think you should try to pursue both at the same time. Same so you don't waste the time, you know? Because the time is gonna go by regardless. Um, um, you from uh, South Carolina? Yes, I am. What part? Colombia? Yeah. What do you like about Colombia? Tell us about Colombia. Colombia is a small town. Well, it's not really small. It's actually, it's not small, but it's a slow paced. And a lot of people, we got a lot of rappers. We got some of the the um, dancers and rappers. They like the way they go with chains and they grills in their mouth. I, I like it. Like everybody, they, they got their own little swag. Okay. And um, what part of uh, Colombia are, are you particularly from? Northeast. Northeast. I originally was we stayed in Elgin for a little bit. That's like country, country. But then we finally moved to the city, and it was I loved it. I really want to go back up north, but right now. How did you get into dancing? Well, I always been dancing ever since I was little. My mom told me that when I was an infant, she would just wake me up to turn the lights on and start playing music, and I would just start shaking my shoulders. So I wouldn't really say I got into it. It's really like music's a part of me. So. What else do you do? I, I rap, I like to, and I feel like that's a different way to show a different type of talent. I like to sing, um, I like to act a little bit. So you rap? Yeah. Let's hear a sample, give us a little, a little, give us a few bars real quick. I'm okay, I can give you a song from, it's called John Doe. Okay. okay. Everybody's addicted to something. Everybody got their grip on the something. Even if just to feel the response with him and be once, be twice, and be hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. But that is just harder to function at times. You race to the bottom every single bottle. As if there was someone or something to find. Juggling your mind and you taste of lie after lie till you get to the point where it's no longer private. The people that you work with notice the sounds. When you walk in the room, it gets close to quiet. So you break up the silence. So you've been at the gym, but the way that you look can't blame on the diet. So what you hiding? Awesome. Awesome. Do you do poetry as well? I do, I write, but I, I mainly I listen to beats and then when I write I put it to a beat and then that's like poetry. So. Yeah, it is. Do you, um, do you have anything on the internet that people could, could uh, you know? I don't yet. I was working on some stuff during the summer, but I feel like my confidence wasn't really there yet. I feel like to sell it you gotta have the confidence. So 
I'm more confident now and I want to get into the studio and try to drop some stuff now. In the next two years, three years, four years, five years, where do you see yourself? I really do see myself on stage, like going to festivals and performing different places and really trying to speak to different people and just opening up more of myself and being more confident in what I do. Do you have a performer's name, a performance name? Yeah, Bina Ray. All right, awesome. Tell us also where we could find you on social media. Social media, I have an Instagram, it's X underscore Bina Ray. And that's, that's about it right now. I'm most active on there. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Bina. Thank you. You are amazing thank and you. much success and uh, keep on doing it.